In this video, we'll be covering the basic technical setup to connect your store to Facebook ads. We'll be covering media buying or marketing strategies in another video. This video is just the steps you need to get your store ready for those ads. Now, we're going to be connecting our Shopify store to our Facebook ads. And there's going to be two parts to this. So the first is just the Shopify setup. And the second is some additional steps on the Facebook side. Now, the Shopify setup is pretty straightforward, uh, but there will be an extra few steps that we want to take on the um, Facebook side to make sure everything is, is good and set up properly. So the first thing we would want to do is to create a Facebook business manager if you don't have one already. Um, this is what it's going to look like once you've already set it up. Uh, but if you haven't, then you can just uh, go to business.facebook.com um, and it will take you uh, through the process of how to set that up. Now, I've already logged in, so I'm going to need to uh, go to an incognito mode to just show you uh, what that window looks like. All right, so this is what it'll look like. Um, you just need to log in and then follow the steps, uh, and then it should take you to eventually getting a business manager that, that looks like this. And when you're working in your business manager, um, you want to make sure that you're actually using a business account um, so it'll, you know, say here under business account um, and not the your account area, which is actually a personal account. So the reason why we want to use a business account is because you get this users area here where you can add people to uh, your business manager and give them access to ad accounts um, or data sources or just anything really that you can find in your business manager. Um, and you can also add partners where, you know, these could be agencies that can help you uh, manage your ads or anything to do with sort of the business manager side on in Facebook. So um, the first thing we want to do is we actually want to create a page. And so I've already created a page here. We can just do add, create new page. Um, and there hasn't been really any setup here yet. It's just a blank page. For your store, you're going to want to add an image, a sort of a, a banner image, add some in information about your store, um, just to get that set up so that if customers ever end up on your Facebook page, you know they'll know what you're about. Um, but if we come back to our Shopify store so we can get started, we can connect our account. Um, if you haven't logged in already to Facebook, then it'll ask you to log in. Uh, but now we can continue. And then it will ask you to connect your business assets. So we have a page, right, that we created. So that's the uh, this prompted demo page here. And we're going to connect to that page. Um, next, it's sort of the data sharing area. And um, I'm not sure why it's clipped off like this, but you can just barely see here change. So we're going to open that up. And this is sort of the options that you have for data sharing. So we use the maximum setting, um, and this will provide the most amount of information from Shopify to Facebook ads. Uh, and this is important because Facebook will be able to get more data to feed into its algorithm to help those ads perform better. Um, and so just make sure we've selected maximum and then save. All right, so we were able to open up the, the window here by just kind of toggling that open. Um, and we now need a uh, metal pixel for um, our store. So we're just gonna create a new one here. And this pixel is gonna be the element that's on your website that's gonna help um, understand who your customer is and what they're doing on it and to feed that information back to Facebook. Okay, so we can confirm that. Um, and then for the terms and conditions, we just agree and submit for review. Okay, and so we just need to wait for this to finish loading. And there we go. And now it says we're ready to start selling on Facebook sales channels. We can now hop over onto the Facebook side. And so what we're going to need is we're going to need an ad account first. So we can just create a new one, create a new ad account if you haven't already. Um, if you do have one, then uh, you can use that. Um, we'll call this, uh, we'll go to the Eastern time zone, which is where I'm in. Okay. 
and we're going to uh, make this my business. Okay, so we're going to want to make um, yourself as a uh, full control. And then you can add payment info. So in this case, we can, um, you would just add a, uh, a credit card to your ad account because in order to use ads, you can add a credit card. Uh, I'm not going to do this right now. Next, we're going to need to connect a few things together in here. So first is... Um, we have a pixel, um, which is the one we created when we, um, we were setting up Shopify. Um, I am going to open this in an events manager and I'm actually going to rename it so that, uh, we have a better idea of what that is. Cause if you start, uh, if you use your business manager for, um, and create more than one pixel, then that can start to get a little confusing. So we are just going to rename this to prompted demo pixel. Okay. All right. So um, we can refresh. And so we're going to want to assign um, ourselves to be able to manage this pixel. And we're also going to want to connect assets. So we're going to want to connect the um, ad account that we created so that the ad account has access to that pixel. So the next section we're going to look at is this catalogs area here. And we can see that there's already one that's created um, with the number ending in 4683. And uh, if we come over to the Shopify side, we can see right there that same number ending in 4683. So this catalog was created when we did our setup when, to connect uh, Facebook and Shopify together through this app. And we're not going to use it right now, but it will be useful um, when you want to create DPA or dynamic product ads in Facebook. Um, and so I just wanted to point that out for you guys. All right. So now we're going to go over to the brand safety and suitability section. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our custom domain that for our Shopify store into here. So if you actually go to your uh, settings and domains area, um, you may or may not have purchased a uh, domain for your store. Um, but most likely, if you want to brand it and have some sort of .com or, or some sort of uh, custom domain that isn't the my Shopify domain, then you're going to need to add something here. Uh, we typically just buy it directly from Shopify uh, using this button. Um, and so in this case, we purchased the domain, the prompted.store. And so this is the domain that's going to be used for our storefront. And we want to actually verify it inside of Facebook. So we're going to create the, a new domain here. So the prompted.store. And we're going to have three options to verify. So uh, the option that we always use is the DNS text record. So we'll select that. And it'll give you this text here. So we can just uh, click to copy it. And we can head over into our domain. And you're going to see this um, error here. This is only because we just recently purchased this domain. Um, this should go away within 48 hours. Uh, just those 48 hours hasn't happened yet. Um, and so we're going to edit our DNS uh, settings and add a text record. Paste that um, that text that we just copied from here, and add the at symbol as a name. And we'll confirm that. And now, if we come back here and verify, we should be able to verify. So verification is complete. Next, we're going to go to the connected assets tab, assign assets. And we're going to connect our domain to the page we created earlier. And that's essentially it. Um, so we've now uh, set up the Facebook and Instagram app in Shopify. We've done a couple of uh, setup, a couple of steps of setup in our business manager. So we created a new page, we created a pixel, we created an ad account, and we verified our domain. Um, and so that's basically it. That's all you need to get going on Facebook ads. 
Um, and if you want to start creating those ads, you can go to your ad account and open an ads manager and um, you can start creating ads in your ads manager. Now, we're not going to talk about that in this video. Uh, we'll be going over how we like to structure ads, um, particularly in our in a low risk way if you don't have a ton of budget. Um, but uh, that's going to be for next video. I hope that this is helpful. Let me know if there's anything that wasn't clear or if uh, you need a little bit more explanation on something in this video. I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next one.